for the news conference here that I'm going to be holding, the We the People news conference right here, outside of uh, Danbury City Hall. They have increased uh, police presence here, outside of uh, City Hall. Just saw a car drive by. Somebody told me there was detectives across the street. And, um, you know, we're here to peacefully exercise our rights to film in public. We got a few people out here right now. Reporter from the News Times. Few people out here with us, fellow patriots. And uh, we're just gonna be um, serving the city with the notice of intent to sue. And, uh, you know, doing our thing over here. So we're gonna be, let me go see if I can uh, see who's here for me, who's here and who's just standing outside of City Hall. I don't know. So, uh, what's up? So is every, hey, it's my friend right here. Thank you for coming out. Let's get the, uh, the extra police presence going through really quick, you know. It's the reporter there for the Dan er, Danbury News Times. I'm gonna hand my phone over to my cameraman. There's uh, a lot of more people in, in, in route. I believe this is uh, auditing Erie County right across from me. If I'm not too mistaken, I can recognize that beard anywhere. Shout out to him. If you haven't followed him, go follow his uh, channel. He does great work over there, over from Buffalo. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Face. Face? Yep. Nice to meet you, Face. How you doing? All right, guys. So I'm going to be talking to people. I'm going to have somebody filming me. So here you go. What's up, Hey. Here's Port. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, how are you? John. Hey, how are you? What's your name? Okay. I'm just. <laughs> hey, Ron. Nice to meet you, Ron. Hey. So yeah, so we're just gonna. Man, I didn't think this many people were gonna come. I was, I'm, I was, I was excited last night because I thought people were gonna come, but I didn't think this many people were gonna come. And I really appreciate you guys, really. Put the big smile on my face to see that this country still has patriots who weren't gonna accept the tyranny. <laughs> How, how do you do? How do you Many see another man? How do you see another man get arrested and, and and unlawfully and then not say something and not come out and support? I would support each and every one of you guys. How you doing? I didn't see you. Long Island audit. Hey, how you doing? Fucking guy, man. How you doing? Hey, so hey, nice hey, to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Man. There you go. There you go. Same style. You know, it's funny how I got so much support and I don't. I, I'm not acting out there crazy or anything like that. I guess you guys appreciate that. And I wasn't gonna change that because that's not who I am. I'm not who I am. I'm going to be an antagonist, but they labeled me as an antagonist. So, you know. So where are you going to, to serve these papers? I got to talk to the town clerk, and uh, I'll be serving the papers on, on Jan uh, Geigler. Jan Geigler. She wasn't very nice to me. She was part of this whole arrest thing. She wasn't very nice. And the corporate counsel here, he egged on the, the police to arrest me. 
I don't know if you guys saw the last slide. The police officer, Officer Michael Farrell, who arrested me, was is the police, uh, the president of the police union. <laughs> so I could understand why the sergeant didn't. Not the didn't FOP. There you go. Which, which, and, which union? Um, yeah, I believe so. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure which one. But another thing is, what happened to uh, Rogue Nation? You guys know Rogue Nation? The channel Rogue Nation, right? Obviously. So, Rogue Nation came here last week. Two of them. Rogue Nation and Tyrant Slayer, right? Rogue Nation and Tyrant Slayer came over here last week, a week, a week ago, to this very building. They did exactly what I did and had no problems. They posted the video. So what is it? Is it the color of my skin, or you just don't like me, or what? What could it be? I don't know. What? I'm... Yeah, he's there. He's right there. My friend Phil. Hey, Phil. Phil has charges pending against him because guess what? Phil assaulted me, and Phil didn't get arrested. But later on that day, I did, and my phone was. He assaulted me. It's on oh, camera. The security guard guy. Yeah. Oh, man. He's sitting right there with his job still. Can you believe it? Yeah. No, no, no. And then no, this was a different time where I, I, I showed the the Denver police and they were like, yeah, this is a crime. And they didn't wanna they didn't do anything about it. They didn't do anything about it. He's still free. I had to post a ten thousand dollar bond, but he's still free. Make sure wow. I can't believe all you guys came out. I'm so appreciative of you guys, especially he, he, took, he was here doing reconnaissance. Uh, audit in Erie County was over here doing reconnaissance yesterday. Appreciate him for that. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Sent me a picture of him outside of uh, Danbury Police Department. Really cool. I got, I got some other. Of course. Cool? Oh, of course. Does anybody mind taking this? No, I don't do pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have my permission. Oh, my God, right. Right. Now, man. That's all you're on YouTube. Right. 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 We got a little okay. rain. Well, the Lord never heard nobody. What do you think about all the Native Americans? Hey, you want to make my hair do? Peter from the News Times here coming out, and uh, he's out here recording on the story out here. So, you know, it looks good. I thought I was going to be out here with like three people. I'm not going to lie, but I don't care. You could have been two, three, four people, and I would have been just as happy on the same smile on my face because anybody who can come out and support. We even got little Patreon back. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I'm still waiting on my uh, guy who helps me out with everything. Very cool guy. Very nice, man. That's so cool, man. How you guys all came out here. I really appreciate it. You guys all from Connecticut, or all you guys are from Connecticut except for my friend over here? I gotta go to Buffalo. I'm heading over there soon. <laughs> Jersey? Yeah. Oh, this thing would be going on between get auditing. Yeah. You would think. You would think. That's, you, you, would think. think. <laughs> the metal, you would think. These guys send it. The way things go viral, how do you not see this? It's like, oh, this guy's in here filming, testing us. He's auditing us to make sure that we have a, uh, that we're respecting people's rights and respecting the right, the, the right to film in public. Just say, hey, have a nice day, sir. What's the big deal? Why does everybody have to be so confrontational and so and violate rights? That's right. That's right. I'm the Salary. Yeah, their salary. The Officer Farrell makes $192,000 a year violating people's rights. I guess we're not high school graduates. Yeah, why, why isn't he in prison? Why isn't he in jail for violating my rights? I'm going to go talk to the FBI. They're not going to do anything. Why? Why? FBI is not going to do anything because they don't think they, they tell me all the time. They won't even let me record. They're like, we're not going to talk to you unless you put your phone in your car. What? What kind, of, what kind of transparency is that? What kind of uh, accountability is that? And you're not going to talk to me unless we're not going to take any complaint from you. We know who you are. We're not going to take any complaint from you unless you're you're in the. Uh, it's incredible. It's right. They told. They said, put your phone in the car. I said, listen, Mike. I parked my car far away. They're like, all right, we'll take it and put it in a lockbox. I was like, it's the only way I can make a complaint. Yep, only way. Only way you can make a complaint. It's definitely crazy. Right, so look at the, um, 
the edit auditors in the carry the carry the carry state. Yeah. Like um the fisherman there in Florida. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I need some laws. I don't understand. I've been doing this since since March, and I've been arrested three times. What is it about me? I'm starting. I, I'm not a big subscriber to racism, and you know, I'm not a you know. Obviously, there's racism in this country, but I'm not. I'm not one that says like there's like a crazy amount of racism. But come on, three three times I've been arrested. For what? Nothing. I'm the nicest guy. I swear, I'm gonna take you guys out to lunch. We'll I'm the nicest guy you'll ever meet. I swear. Is that a uh, substitution over there? Someone came back here. There's four police. Who told me there was four police officers inside? That was me. Four? Just hanging out on the inside? So I can't see them. Nope. No, they're around the corner working hard. Can somebody get me his last name? Somebody discreetly. I need to put it in the intent to sue. I know it's Genoso, but I don't know how to spell it. He has a name bad one. Right to my friend over there. How is he still have a job? He, is, he, he assaulted me. He assaulted me. How does he still have a job? How is he still doing the same thing we've been doing? How is that possible? How does he have a job when he assaulted me? As I was being let out of this building in cuffs, I told the officer, Officer Farrell, I said, this is real justice, huh? The man who committed the crime earlier today is just walking alongside of me without cuffs, and I'm walking in cuffs. That's real justice. Justice in America, real justice. What? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. But yet he's still, look at him. Did he have, uh, is his bond going to be $10,000? No. Which one is, is he going to be putting in cuffs? He's going to go right here. Philip, Phil Genosa, right there. Yeah, that's his name. Okay. Bill Genoso. He works for Allied Security, uh, Allied Universal Security Service. Well, we all know what's going on over here with the corruption. And guess what? He wouldn't have gotten a $10,000 bond. He wouldn't even have gotten put in cuffs. You know what they would have done? Hey, Phil, uh, can you come uh, sur uh, surrender yourself at the PD? You know. Can you come surrender yourself at the PD? We, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta lock you up because we got caught on video, or else we wouldn't be locking you up. But put them through fingerprints real quick and get them out of there. Buy them lunch. I just stay with them. But for me, it's freezing in there. By the way, too, it's hot out here. But down there in the cell, it's cold, man. I'm telling you, I had my arms in my, in my shirt. I was like, ooh, it's cold. In here. Definitely crazy. Hey, the tight in the shotguns, right? I wonder, I wonder if the, uh, the reporter in there, if he went in there. Did they arrest him? I doubt it. I doubt it. Because he's a he has press he has press credentials, right? I must have left him at home. And all, all you people over here watching, you guys are here in spirit, and I appreciate it. How many people are? Uh... Okay, 920. Imagine 920 people here, though. 920 <laughs> people are here. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. 920. Oh, look, I didn't expect this much. I want to meet everybody that's coming in. Hey, how you doing? Good. Rich. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support, really. Hey, how you doing? David. Nice to meet you, David. Thanks for coming out, man. Appreciate you guys. Wow. I, I literally thought I was going to be here with like three, three people. I swear to you. I was like, ah, whatever. We got to do it. I wish you guys could see the video. That's what I wish. I wish I could show you the, how egregious it is. I know I explained it, but once you see it, you're gonna be even. You're gonna, it's gonna be even more egregious. You're gonna be like, whoa, what's going on over here? You know, <sighs> Danbury, Danbury, Danbury. So if everybody just joined, I'm waiting for another auditor to come here. Impact auditor. He's bringing me the uh, notice of intent to sue, and I'm gonna be serving that on the town clerk because that's the only way they learn. People are like, oh, you're just looking for so I don't control your actions. I didn't put myself in cuffs. How do I prevent you from from locking me up unlawfully? That's not me. You know, but that's not my bad. Yeah, not, not a very good constitution state, you said? Yeah. Look at all the license plates. That's the constitution state. Oh, come on. Why do they need an ambulance? See, like they're preparing to hurt me. <laughs> you see that? Taking us all away. Uh, so, I'm going to look here so you can see how many people are here. Like,
I really appreciate every single one of you guys coming out. Wow. I don't know what's going on. Did they still have a hard time? <laughs> Standing up, look. Look, you don't think they're gonna get backlash for that? Of course they are, but they don't care. They're patriots. They're patriots. Patriots right there. They're patriots. You don't think they get that city of Danbury? City of Danbury. They're patriots. 100%. Patriots. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. They are. They're gonna get so much trouble for it. He didn't care. He said, I'm just trying to get inside, man. That's awesome. Come down here and do that. Patriots right there, guys. See that ambulance over there? Patriots in that ambulance. City of Danbury, first responders, real heroes, unlike the police over here. Real heroes. Real people who help people. Woo! He came down here in the city of Danbury Ambulance. I couldn't believe it. He's, he's walking up to me. Like, That's insane. He's like, he even told me. He's like, I'm even going to get some. Where did that come to? They said it's Danbury Ambulance? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> That's awesome, man. No, That's so man. Uh, That's awesome. What are you guys watching? How many people are watching right now? Let me see. Let me check. 1,141. You guys saw that ambulance? You didn't see the ambulance. You missed out. You're just coming in now. City of uh, Danbury ambulance. Just pulled in. Yeah, got my uh, got my autograph. Took a picture. So cool, man. So cool. Real patriots there. Real heroes. Before you have a picture of the journey. Huh? Just going to have a in the car. I know. I didn't like it. <laughs> More supporters over here. There we go. I support supporters of the Constitution. No, I don't want the fame. Wasn't that amazing? That's amazing. <laughs> that was you amazing. Can't make that up. That's like uh, that's almost as good as if a police car came driving by here and was like, "Hey man, sorry, what happened?" You're like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry that happened to you. Man. That was. Awesome. You can't you can't even make it up. And we got it live, right? Yeah. We got it live. yeah. People always tell me all the time when I when I put when I post my videos, they're always like, "Do you like hire paid actors or, you know, they think that I'm like hiring people sometimes." Uh, people like hiring a lot. Yeah, it's just they just I don't know. I'm not hiring anybody. You know what I mean? It's, it's definitely they like not. the follow up. They like the, uh, yeah. Down the meter. Yeah. That's just who I am. I'm like a church who I am. Sorry. Where do what's up, my friend? Hey, George. How you doing, man? Good to see you. You live, so we. No, no, no. I'm watching you live. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're one of the 1,100. Now, I know you said you had to work today. I did what I had to do. You know. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We love the cause. We got like how many people in the live right now? I don't even know. Uh, 1,200. This is my other buddy right here. Did you, did you, you missed it. Uh, the Danbury, uh, Dan, city of Danbury ambulance. We just watched it. Oh, you watched it. We watched it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we played. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That was awesome. That is what's up. I don't know what news agency this guy's wearing. Right I'm um, I'm gonna go live for a couple minutes, right? Like. How you doing? Where you at? It was time. Gotcha. It's with Peter from the News Times. Where's 
Ne su miše? Unalienable rights. Exactly. Exactly. Injustice. That's what happened here. That's what happened here. Injustice. Amen. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. David over here preaching the gospel of the uh, the Constitution, equal rights, unalienable rights that we have here. So the other uh, Patriots we have here? 1,300. 1,300 people are watching this unfold right now. And let me get, I'm going to get a head count here. Work. I don't know if he's with us. But I'm a channel. With us? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's 18 right there. Oof. 20. Okay. I thought I missed it. No, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Really? Yeah, yeah. It was. It, it wasn't. It didn't really. It kind of went zero. To be honest with you, it went like zero to one hundred, like super quick. I'm sitting here talking to one officer, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm just here, you know, filming. No big deal." Then, Officer Farrell. You recording? No. You know what I mean? So quick. Wasn't that the end of the library one? No, no, no. I thought no. I saw one when they turned you around. That was the end. I, I no, 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 no. That was. Here, here is where I was arrested on July 15th. So I haven't seen and that And guess one. what? You guys, if you guys follow, you guys see the, the Danbury chief put out a statement after the library incident yeah. saying it was his top priority to, uh, to investigate it and to uh, hold them accountable. And he was very concerned. It's been three days. He did that three hours after I posted that video. It's been three days. Where are you, chief? Hey, Chief Patrick Reidenauer, where are you? I need your assistance here. How can how you as an African American man can allow racism, allow retaliation in your own department, and not speak up on it? Shame on you. Shame on you. Really. Shame on the security guard in here. Let's see if we can get his face on, on, on the line. Shame on this guy. Wow. He wants to he wants to push me around and uh because he knows I'm a pacifist, that's why. His name is Phil Genoso. There he is. That guy right there at the counter. There he is. Hey, Phil. Yeah, putting his hands on me. He's the one who started the whole thing. Yeah, putting his hands. He's a security. His job is to observe and report. Not put his hands on people. Not touch people. Observe and report, Phil. Learn your job. I got a lawsuit coming on. Uh, Impact order is gonna go pick up the. Uh, I wasn't able to print it, neither was he, so he, he went to the Danbury Public Library. Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm permanently banned from there, too. I'm permanently banned from the Danbury Public Library. Wow. So, yeah, permanently banned from the library. Damn, I should have been banned from Absolutely. It's definitely insane. Anybody want to go in there? Uh, uh, anybody want to go in there? I don't want to go in there somebody with uh, I don't know how to spell it, and it's very important. I'll get it when I'm done. 
Waterbury status is I have court July 27th and uh, Waterbury, Waterbury and uh, July 27th I'll be there July 27th in Waterbury uh, Superior Court and uh, through my FOIA request I found out that they don't even have jurisdiction in the post office. You can have, you can have a contract where, yeah, but you can have a contract where, where they allow you to affect arrests there, but they don't even have that. So, and the one of my, yeah, he's from Long Island too. Yeah, there you go. Great Huh? Yeah. I would love to meet him one day. You replaced him, that's why I, I would love to meet him. <laughs> I would love to meet him one day. He was in my live one time. I don't know, I'm not checking my live now. He might be could be in my He was in my live one time. He said he was gonna come visit Long Island. I love to meet Shout out, MBS Press. Love to meet you, man. Big fan. I love big fan. But um, guys, wow, I can't believe so many people came. We got the little patriot with the freedom on uh, <laughs> Really? They won't, they won't, they won't yeah, they won't talk to me. You know what they did here? Hey, listen. Listen, listen, listen. You know, you know what they did here? Just for me. They knew I was, obviously, all you knew. They And the 1,300 people watching, they knew I was coming here today. And they made up these fake policies about, and they're, and they're disguising it under coronavirus. Now you have to go in there and wear a mask. You didn't have to go in there and wear a mask a couple days on July 15th. Yeah, he's not even wearing a mask. You on July 15th, you did not need to wear a mask to go in there. There is no mask mandate in Connecticut anymore. So what? It, it's gone, right? Yes. So what are you doing in there? Making up your own policies, controlling, trying to control the people. What? Let's see what this looks like. Brand new. This is a brand new sign. This is brand new. This is required. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's asking me nicely. I'm in a nice room. Nobody, nobody, nobody arrested them or did anything to them. Something crazy. Something crazy. Oh. Well, I think about it. When I watched that video of Road Patients, I was like. <laughs> You gotta go back and watch this live. I know it's gonna be a long one. Tough luck. Listen, the city of Danbury ambulance, the the first responders here, they came out, stopped with the with with the uh, with the uh, with their ambulance, and stopped here and got my autograph and said they were big supporters and they didn't care about any backlash they were gonna get. Very cool. Shout out to you guys. I really appreciate it. They're probably gonna be watching this obviously later. Shout out to you guys. Really appreciate you guys. Really for coming out. Really appreciate it. Wow, it's amazing. Freedom. That freedom ring, right? That's what we do. Without you guys, I'm just some, some, some one guy standing in front of here. They're not gonna care. They gotta learn this is why. Yeah, this is this is this is why all of this is so appreciated because you guys were all over here and it makes my voice louder. You guys amplify my voice. And it's gonna stop the tyranny. You think they're gonna? You think they're gonna prosecute these charges? I don't think so. I don't think so. A breach of peace that they added on later. What they didn't know is that the Connecticut Supreme Court on July 1st changed the the, the legislature actually changed it to where a breach of peace in Connecticut needs to come with a, has to have an act of a threat of violence. Yeah. 
the police don't care the violence. What about civil suit? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I'm waiting on the paperwork right now to come suit, uh, to serve with them. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be the alternate parent. I'm gonna, guess what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back out here, and I'm going to do a live when I get the check, and I'm going to take a picture like this, and I'm going to do a live. I've never seen any consequences. Well, I think it's because a lot of them sound like they talk about it. They settle with them and they can't talk about it. John Ryan, nice to meet you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I still love the I just love it. I love Connecticut. <laughs> so, hey, Connecticut hasn't treated you that well. No, and I keep coming back. I've spent thousands of dollars on hotels here. I, I stay out here. I, I love it out here because guess what? This is why I keep. I love the best job I can ever have is exposing tyranny. So I find it. I want to dig in, and I want to find more. Look, the police, the police chief, uh, the police, uh, the president of the police union. How corrupt is that, man? That's why he was giving orders to the sergeant. He was giving orders to the sergeant, and the sergeant was listening to him. Yeah. Open door. Listen, why, why, why can't we have a dialogue? Is she a she cool? she, she's just back here. You want to hear The blue don't back you You don't got to be over there. You back good cops. You're always respectful. Come on over here. Come over here and help us get better. Amen. So are we. So, okay, so they, so he got the understanding he wants to know. I think all police are professional. Yeah. He's a huge police advocate. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ozzy. Nice to meet you, Ozzy. Are there signs to say that you can't do this with your personal speech? I said, can't you open that? Well, this is you. Yes, of course. Yo, baby, give me a little bit of a shout out. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. No, no, I'm a big fan of his. I'm a big fan. I respect his voice. I will say I'm Hold on, I want to I wanna talk, I wanna talk to the back of the room. Yes! I'm going to listen. Listen. You can't be angry about that, like, I saw the original video, and my... Interpretation was yes, that some of these tasks should have had more control. I do agree with that completely, but I do not believe that the Danbury police or somebody who doesn't even live in Danbury should come and try to provoke a response that's not necessary. Man, I'm a New Yorker. Okay, may I ask you, how do you think that I provoke a response? Well, the man told me. Segregate him to Long Island? I don't live in Danbury. Hmm? I don't live in Danbury. Oh, I want to segregate him to Long Island? Yeah. No. 
That's no, kind of I go anywhere I want in America. No, 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 no. No one, not, nobody, nobody wants to pay two years. That's what you're saying. It's just a difference, a difference of opinion. Look at a video of this beautiful building. The cops say these. What are they hiding in here? I just want to understand. So, I just want to understand something. So, whether you agree with the library video or not, so, would you, City Hall, would you agree as a public building? Uh, of course it is. Okay. But I also don't believe that they like uh, cameras inside there. I follow But there's the cameras in there. For our, for, like, we could foil those. We could take those videos and with those anytime we want. Anybody in the public can. Okay. Anybody. So, so anybody okay. can request this. That's what I was going to get to. Anybody can request this. They're always reporting. And then do they ask you for information? Reporting? No, not a single person here is asking for information. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't need this. Okay. Yeah. 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 But, but the point is, is that we're going to have to do this. 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 We're going to have to
He isn't good enough to be YouTube. Make sure subscribe. That doesn't even constitute as a Karen. <laughs> this is about, it's not about me. It's about all of us together fighting for what we you know is right. Not what we think is right, what we know is right. We cannot be arrested for the public photography. Many many military, but many I'm military, many military not and that's their opinion. But they, it doesn't matter. Exactly. But what you're not entitled to do is take away my rights. That's what you're not entitled to do. No, but that's where you find the law, and not the public opinion, and not get. Do you not understand how corrupt the field is? What do they got to hide in there? They don't want to storm it. Forget it. What are they afraid of? It's not in the public area. Right? Right? So what are they afraid of? Why are they keeping it everywhere? The security guard right there doesn't have a mask, man. Because he's got a camera? They're scared. I'm not arguing with you. No, they're scared. They're afraid of him because he shines a light on them, and they hate that. They don't want to see that. They hate his camera. They don't hate him. Here, I'm not, I don't play, I don't, I don't get along with politics. To me, it's not. To me, it's not. It's the Constitution. It has nothing to do with politics. That's nothing to do with politics. I have a lot of conservative values, okay. and I, I'm sure I have a lot of liber, I have a lot of libertarian values. Okay. But I'm not. This, this, this has nothing to do with politics. Nothing. Because it's part of the United States, and the Constitution applies. So this is the Constitution state. I understand this constitution. And the police need training in the First Amendment. The unconstitutional sorry, state. The police need training. <laughs> in the First Amendment? Yes. Obviously. But there are so many good cops in this city. Who said there were? I'm not saying Well, that. some I mean, are good and some are bad. Did, did you, did, an officer invited me out. An officer, before I came here and got arrested, officer, uh, you know, called me, the contract to be a sergeant. And he went and said, hey, let's go. I had a good conversation with him. He said, let's go out for lunch. Let's go, let's go grab a drink after my shift. I want to have a conversation with you. I want to have a dialogue with you. I never made it to that lunch because because his brothers, the thin blue line, they arrested him. Okay. And then he knew he knew a lot. The whole point is, I believe in law and order. I believe in law and order. I don't believe in rogue police officers arresting people. I'm not disrespectful. I'm not breaking any laws. There should be no reason I spent six hours in a cell. No. And my phone taken from me. I've spent a lot of your in a cell for absolutely no reason. Well, but it's still, I, it. I, I was 18 and things like that. I was not in this too. But again, my question is, why Denver? What was your agenda behind Denver? Because I didn't have, I didn't have a good, I didn't have a good uh, experience with Waterbury, okay, so I wanted so to try another berry. How, I mean, I grew up in Colorado, New York. You want to talk about these harassments? I am from Colorado, New York. Huh? Okay. What about? I'm on Townsend Avenue. I grew up there. Um, you want to find corruption in a place outside of Colorado rather than the Los Angeles. What is it? What is it? You don't want to find corruption in your own place. Just go to work. I'm going to get a job, Junior. Hey, hey. Wait, it's time. how are you doing? Do you see the hostility? Am I treating you? Do, who, how do you know if you're on the right side of the street? number, sir. How do you? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I'm, I'm laughing at him saying what's your name is Adam because he definitely was a cop. He had the cop cut and everything. I, he definitely I make no assumptions unless I see a badge or a shirt. Okay. I don't you didn't assume anything about him? He just went in without a mask. No, I didn't. He just, he just went in without a mask. Because he's, he's a police officer. You're the only one in the world who doesn't make it assumptions. Listen, we're trying to, right now we're trying to have a good dialogue with, with uh, Back the Blue. If you see her shirt right there, she has a Back the Blue shirt. But I want to let everybody know that's watching this, even if you Back the Blue. We can have a dialogue and talk, but guess what? The Blue, the blue don't back you. He's talking to me nicely. This man is talking to me very nicely. David? Nice to meet you. How are they doing? This is amazing. 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 Thank you. That's pretty cool.
Look at all these people out here. I came over here peacefully. He asked me to come to the Nice to meet you. Judy. Judy, nice to meet you, Judy. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. So well. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm I'm trying. Trying. I'm trying. Crazy. Is, I thought I thought it was gonna be me and my two friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to see everybody here. Nice. Thank you. To have a good dialogue with somebody who uh, backs the blue, and we're trying. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind people. I'm not anti-police. No. <laughs> I'm not anti-police. All pro-police. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, we're all pro-police. Pro police, police let's do things the right way. Don't abuse their power. Where's the good police at? And, and, and you know why? You why know aren't why the good like, police here? I want to say this on camera. You know why I believe good police? There are none. Because how could you be good and you allow me, when you see me being brought in, not say, hey, what are you doing? Stop. But I can understand it because you're scared because they outnumber you. But it's time you start standing up too. All the good cops out there, you gotta stand up like all these all the people. All these people out here, all the good cops, you gotta stand up to the tyrants out there. You gotta stand up to the tyrants and you need to uphold the constitution. You took an oath to it. Uphold it. Oh, he is. Yeah, he was down. No, no. It's funny you say that. You saw his video, right? I saw him down at York. Oh, okay. Correctional facility in Niantic. That's where I, I lived down there. Gotcha. Well, it's the No, he, he came here. Uh, about right, I did see. Before, yeah. A week before I did. And nothing happened to him. Right, right. And I was brought out of cuffs. But you don't think it's because of what they did to you that the they know better? Well, no, no, because he came before me. Oh, he came before you? Isn't that interesting? Walked around, did he? He came, Rogue Nation came here before I came here. Walked around, had no problems. I come here, I'm in cuffs. Six hours of lockup, $10,000 bond. I just talked to the guard. He said that was because they gave a name and a description. But I explained that there's no legal requirement for that. He literally says it's not it's the whole constitutional thing. That's literally his words. No, you know what this man told me? I just spoke Look, to him. He said, listen, he, he, just told, he just told him that he's not into the whole constitutional thing. <laughs> Scary. Scary. Extremely. But word for word, what he told me, which will come out on the video when they give me my phone back, was take the constitution and shove it. That man told me that. Total tyrant. He doesn't believe in any of this. He doesn't believe in it. He's a tyrant. I think they're all He's a, a bunch of Freemason plants anyway. Shame on him. Shame on him. Put his hands on me and look at him. Did he get a ten thousand dollar bond? Did he get did he get put let out with cops? Nope. No, he didn't. He said he, he cut trees all his life. Yeah. It's just a job for him. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh it's so funny you keep saying these things. He says he cut trees for all his life. You know what he told me? He told me I'm gonna knock you down like the trees I used to cut down. That's what he told me. You know what I told him? Try it. I'm not a tree. I hit back. Try it. It's funny he told you all that. Same things he told me, but a little bit of different. Uh, it checks out. A little bit of different uh, view on it. You know? Yeah. So he's kind of nice. Great. Huh? Well, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting no, I got it. No, I got it. No, I got it. No, I got it. No, I
Especially safe, that's why this is so egregious. How do you how do you arrest me from for, for filming? And I said I said to the town clerk, can I get a fire request? No, that's not how it works. You're telling me that you're married, city member, you can't own the town clerk, and get a fire request, get a fire request, and I'm married or It's because people don't want to, I would love to have conversations, like good conversations with people and try and, you know, change their minds, and, you know, but they don't want to listen, they don't want to listen, like I would listen, I would, I, I, would, I listen to her, and I get it, she doesn't, she's hurt, she's territorial, she feels like this is her city, she feels like this is her police, but why did you come here? That's not the question, the question is why did your police violate my rights? Yeah, next, next week, like, what if like CNN or Fox News want to do a story, they can't come to the town and do a story? Of course, of course they can. And if it's if it's a positive story, they'll welcome them right away. But it's a negative story, and then we got members of the media over here, right? So not for the raise, but for the here. Yeah, no Good, good. Did, did you see the four police officers? Yes. Yeah, that's an intimidation tactic. They got four. They got four uh, uniformed officers on the inside. I guess protecting their building. So if you're walking in there with a camera right now going, they're going to arrest it? Uh, I mean, if you want... Has anybody wanna, tried if it? Wanna, if you want a free, uh, free check or whatever, in two or three years, I'm sure. I'll, I'll see how this goes for you first. Though. All right. <laughs> you will. You're going to see. I promise you that. I promise you. I'm determined, and I'm going to get it done. I didn't want to be one to... Yeah, I'm told you that. But do you have case law? Charts of... Why would I need case law from something that you don't make the check if you have to? Case law should be the corporate counsel. Good point. The corporate counsel here tells me that I can't do it. He said there's no case law supporting this. I was like, yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, listen, he's like, you can film you just the hallways, might that you can film the hallways, you just <laughs> might see that police officer doing something that was going to happen. He said, you can't go into the town clerk's office, the assessor's office, nowhere. Only the hallways. That's why I was arrested. Imagine a police officer having the same thing. You can investigate criminal walls, but not them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't look at them, but just the walls look for walls. Don't look at them. And if you have a hidden camera, they don't know. Yeah, what if they, yeah, what about a hidden That's the whole point. That's the whole point about this. Because if I had a hidden camera, would I be breaking the law secretly recording? No. no. So how, am I, how am I breaking the law overtly recording? Blows my mind. Blows my mind. I'm trying to see how many of you guys are here with us. 1,700 people are watching with us here at Danbury City Hall. Right here at Danbury City Hall, guys. Live right now? Yeah, live. Right. Who's right? 1,700. I have never. I, that's not that much. Oh, okay, not. So, if you're just eight inches, that's not that much. All right, guys. Let me uh, turn the camera around. What's up, guys? I'm going to take a little break, and uh, from talking to everybody, I'm going to talk to you guys now. Florida, support from Florida. Where are you guys supporting from? Drop your, uh, drop your uh, state. Drop your state or country. I'm going inside. I'm going inside. Relax. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going inside. I'm waiting on my documentation. I'm waiting on getting my uh, notice of intent to sue. So that way I can drop it off at the clerks. I'm going inside. Don't you guys worry. Don't you guys worry. I'm going inside. Kentucky, Ohio, Ohio, New Jersey, Canada, Colorado, New Zealand, Denver, United Kingdom, Mississippi, upstate New York, Pennsylvania, Canada. There we go. Wisconsin, South Carolina, Vancouver, Albania. Interesting. Thank you. I appreciate you for coming out, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Texas. This guy right here came out. There we go. Look. Look at all these people. I got to change the thumbnail. Something like this. <laughs> Look at all these people, guys. Come on. Look at all these people. 
Like I said, it's Look at all these Patriots. And you guys are all Patriots too. 1,740 of you. I'm sure there's a few uh, trolls in here, but you know, whatever. Netherlands, Qatar, Tennessee, Louisiana, Arizona. Let's go. Let's go. So these, uh, these people. So this, this, everybody here is a supporter of the Constitution. She's, uh, this is uh, auditing, uh, County. Auditing Erie County here, a fellow New Yorker, upstate. He's uh, about nine hours from me, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna take um take him out. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. He has good stuff over there. Go subscribe to him. We got 1,800 people in here, man. Isn't that crazy? Watching you. So yeah. <laughs> so um, you know she. There was one person. This woman right here, right there. She is uh back the blue. And uh, she doesn't agree with us, but she came and had a good talk. Uh, she didn't treat me bad. She didn't treat me bad. She's on the fence. Oh, you're trying. Oh, you're on the fence. Okay, I'm sorry. She just finding out what's going on. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. No, no, no. Come on. I said you were. I said you were very. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. All right. She. It's not. Guys. It's not that she doesn't. There's a, there's a thousand eight hundred people watching. So I don't want to disparage your name. All right. She's she's not. There you go. Hi everybody, there you go. Hey, did you know that my, my kids sign because their grandmother is deaf? I know I know the alphabet. I know the alphabet. I know the alphabet. I know the alphabet. Yes, I am. Similar. Yeah, so she didn't she she didn't she didn't okay. So she didn't come out here to heckle to heckle or do anything any of that nature. I said she didn't. I said she didn't. She didn't come out here to heckle or anything like that. But so I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to say, hey, listen, for, as far as your question, of why did I come to Danbury? My, my answer to that question is why did I come to Danbury? My answer is why not? You have a beautiful city here. Mm -hmm. I think it's a beautiful city. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone to many restaurants out here. I've gone, you know, I've spent many nights at hotels out here. I think it's a beautiful city. I, I get pictures of beautiful things. There's a lot of things that I've taken pictures of here that I haven't, like this with this church, right? Yes. Yeah, I've, I've taken pictures of a lot of public things here. And this is what I do. I peacefully exercise my rights. And that's all. But when, when tyranny happens, I shouldn't be put in jail. Don't you think that's a little bit extreme? But to use the term tyranny... In conjunction with, say, somebody who was part of the capital riots, yeah. do you think they were causing tyranny, or do you think they were trying to exercise their First Amendment right as well? But what is what is what does one have to do with the other? Yeah, what does one have to do with the other? They were just as much thrown into jail and other things for expressing their constitutional right. Okay. That's well, all I'm. No, 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 no. So you're asking me a question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're asking me if it's okay. So you're asking me if it's, okay. When you start acting in a certain way, so I believe the people who went to Capitol mostly were, you know, I was like, I, I wasn't there. Oh, I've seen the news, like you've seen the news, I wasn't there. But what I can say, I can't really speak on it too much. But what I will say, what I will say is, is that I don't believe if they broke the law, I'm a big supporter of law and order. If they broke the law, I'm just going to Would you not would you not consider the truth? Would you not do this real quick? You have that back to blue shirt. So I just want to, I want to ask a question. What did you consider 
Why did those all? Did you not back the police? The ones who got attacked, sure, but there were a lot of non-attacks going on. If you look into a lot of the video and not just what the mainstream media or the mainstream, I'm not for anyone. Or even the mainstream social media, and those kinds of things. I believe there was just as many, if not more, peaceful protesters there, and an unarmed woman okay. yeah, right. the mainstream and having clothing in the rotunda. I'm being shot. I mean, if you, if, I, I don't. Like, what, what happened? Okay. So I don't what I happened? Where is her justice? Where is the police officer? Where is the police officer going to jail? He's not. Where is my? Where is it? I hope. I hope. I hope my justice does come. But what I'm saying, I know it will because look at all these people. You know what I mean? Look at all these people. And this is this is not to boost my ego. This is not for any of that. This is to show that. Wow. From YouTube, from the platform of YouTube, from me conduct, conducting myself the way I do, I can garner support like this. No, no, no. That's so what you've been saying for the longest. That's why we together. When you're by yourself, the justice system will go. Yeah, no, that's what I'm We're not supposed to go. We're not going to go. But the justice system will go. I'm willing to lend out a camera. When you don't think about it, think about bail. Think about bail. Bail. All of it's correct. Bail is a rich man does the same kind as a poor man, and he's going to be able to get out. But that's not the same thing. There are different angles. I got a $10,000. Let me ask a question. Do you think $10,000 for trespassing? Do you know who said that for me? Yeah, who else? No. Who's the one you need? You need a judge. Not a judge. Not a judge. I mean, not funny. I have a $200,000 bill for trespass. And that's, what I'm saying is, I'm not trying to compete with you. I'm just no, trying no, to I'm tell you. I'm just saying that I see what even though that happens to me. I'm not going to blame the entire police department. I don't blame. I don't, I don't blame. blame. I don't blame the entire police department. So I'm please? sorry. I don't want to interrupt, yeah. but these guys would really like to take a picture. Oh, of yes, yes, of course, of course. Please, sorry, sorry. I'll talk to you later. Go ahead, man. Appreciate it. What's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Can I sit back? No, you didn't. Thank you. I got you. You want a picture, too? Yeah, of course. All right, man. Cool. Let's do it. So, you're live right now. We got like 1,800 people. I'm a big fan. Thanks, man. There we go. What's your name? Ronald. 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 Nice to meet you. Your name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Yeah. Cool, man. You're watching your videos. If you want to stick around for a little bit, I'm going to be going inside for a second. Oh, you are? Yeah. Just for a second, I'm going to be going in there for, uh, I'm assuming, um, giving them the notice of intent to sue. Nice. So, this woman over here that I was talking to, she, uh, she backs the blue and she's just, she's here. She, we're having actually have a good conversation. That's what I'm about, right? Yeah. You know, you tell me exactly how you feel about something and i can tell you how i feel about it but i mean there is no interpretation to what happened to me you know what i mean yeah you can't, you can't look what happened to me there was unjust so i saw we're yeah. gonna we're gonna, hold, we're gonna hold them accountable and uh you know i mean let me i'm gonna go ahead over back yeah do you think man appreciate it man thank you. thank you let me see how many uh you guys are watching let me check it out 1,817. Can we get over? Share it. Wait, share it and like it. Share it and like it. Let's get over 2,000. Let's do it. Patriots. I want over six. I had over 2,000 patriots here at this uh, news conference. Peaceful protests, whatever you want to call it. Mass audit. It's going to be a mass audit. Everybody here got a camera, right? There you go. Anybody need one? I got an actual one. Right now, I'm here I mean, if you saw it, right? Come on, let's do a, let's do a, who's got the good camera? Hold on. I want to take, it's cool we take a, uh, Group pictures, right? Well, can you take a group picture? I can put it up in my room. <laughs> All you patriots? Oh. Anybody want to come take a group picture? Take a group picture. Come on, Paul, I want you in it. I don't want you in it. I don't want you in it. I don't want you in it. You'll shock my brain. Okay. Right. I 
I'm going to take one with me and it also. Yes, I'll have our tickets. Well, you got to get the phone, baby. Actually, you want to take the photo? Yes, sure. Just uh, here, hold it from the bottom. Can you see the uh, clip through there? Just be, oh, hold it, hold it a little better with you. Right there. That would have been awesome. You want me to hold the camera? Hold the uh, phone. Yes. Hold it with your full hand. And you see the little meter on the bottom? Make sure it's in the middle. Yeah, it should be close enough. Okay. On the other side here. How you take it? It's a video. Oh, just just video. You need a picture with it? Huh? Does it come with a picture? No, no. Oh. no sharing tickets, sharing tickets. All right. Yeah, okay, All right. Make sure. Oh, this is yours. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We're out here, Danbury City Hall. Right there, out here. I told you guys we weren't. I told you we, all, all the naysayers. I told you that we were gonna have support here, and I told you that Patriots were gonna stand up, and we were not gonna let this stand. I'm telling you. I told you all, all the naysayers. I told you. Look, look at all these people here. Look at all these people here, all over here in the corner, having having discussions about. And all look, you got 1,829 people here in the live. Who's a plant? <laughs> we got 1800 people here in the live you guys are with us too imagine you guys could have came all out here imagine this place was full with 1800 people i know you guys can't hear me and stuff sometimes but she only took one uh there's another one but it's a little he's not really that's really the only photo do you want to do another one or uh you don't really see the sign yeah no you don't really see the sign let's do it again let's do it again we're gonna do one more picture all right, hold on. We're gonna do one more picture. Call, you gotta get your camera skills up, all right? <laughs> all right, so we got a bad picture. We're gonna do another picture. So I need somebody to hold this. Hey, my friend, can you hold this again? Because we're gonna do one more picture. Okay. We didn't get the dead bear in the back. Can we take one more picture? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 It is Boricua. Well, I can't wait. I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take you guys in with, inside with me. Give us a few minutes. I want to take one more picture. And because uh, I wanna, I wanna be able to frame this. This is cool. Look, look at all these patriots out here. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is Long Island. <laughs> Why Long Island gotta come to Connecticut to get some entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I have this is our list one now. Okay. That's all I got. I think a lot of us are going through that right now. Mm-hmm. So, so, well, I'm surprised you're not having dialogue already at my age. The rest of the world is going to be here. Are you telling them the truth? Don't interrupt my happy thoughts. They want to be alive again. Yeah, they, they do. They just want to live their lives. They just want to go to work. I want you to go to the movie. I'm trying to go to my own business. I'm trying to go to the movie. So, whenever you want to go to the movie, I'm trying to go to the movie with her. And she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. No, 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 no. Not going to happen to America, no. New world order will only affect the rest of the world. Finally, we're, wait, we're, wait, we're waiting on delivery. We were waiting on delivery of the notice of intent to sue. That's what we're waiting on. So now it has arrived, and we're going to be able to uh, serve it at the town clerk here at Danbury. But first things first, definitely gotta get, definitely gotta get another picture because that one's horrible. This is Long Island on it. Horrible. Oh, Johnny, that's your, that's your, what's your, what's your um, audit name? My auditor name is John Q. Public. John Q. Yes, but my channel name is Connecticut Constitutional Television, but my persona on it is John Q. Public. Okay, how long have you been doing this? Uh, 2000, 2017. Okay. I'm gonna get in the photo. Chris, you gave me two. You gave me two for uh, there's one for me, right? For the so they can stamp it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't buy this one on the internet. Can you see it clearly? Notice of intent to sue. It's coming. Stick around. It's coming.
All right, guys. All. How many people? Let me make sure. 1800 still. You guys are still watching. Cool. 1800, you guys are coming in with me. You guys are free to do whatever you'd like to do, but, you know, I don't know. You guys are free citizens here. So do whatever you like. All 1800 of you, let's go. This is it. So, do you want? Can you, can you get those four police officers? Do you want that are back there? Maybe they can follow me up. Just keep, stay tuned. Look, this guy. We have to sign in, though? Yeah. Unfortunately, we have a proper member, right? Walking in, how are we going? Something happens to me, guys. I need you guys here with me. Really, I need you guys here with me. I need you guys here with me. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to America. Here. Okay, I'm gonna right sign my here. name. This is yeah. an illegal document. We can write what's on it. Right? Good citizen. Make up laws. Why do you hate the Constitution? Why do you hate our country? Why do you hate the Constitution? What are you coming through? Okay. Officer, what are you doing? Officer, what are you back there? Come on. Show your faces. Why are you hiding? The hypocrisy that he doesn't have to wear a mask. Officers. They're not special people. My God. Oh, here we go again. Who has business to conduct? 
Who has business? Raise your hand. Okay. I have what business to redress my government. Exactly. Exactly. Which we have a right to do. But these police officers right here, and the two behind them, because you think two of them are going to come out here to confront us? No. There's two more in the back. These guys over here want to, and there's more coming. Yeah, see? This is what they do. You're not policy enforcement, sir. You took an oath. Go ahead. You're an oath breaker. You are an oath breaker. Oath breaker. Shame. Oath breaker. Shame. Shame. Go ahead, sir. I didn't deserve my country for this. Serve this country for you to be violating my rights. Shame. Shame. This is shame. Like you put his life on the line. I you, did. You pretend to put your life on the line. That's what you do. You pretend to. You're not scared of anybody. You should kill anybody you think looks suspicious. I'm not in line. Policy is not law. Policy is not law. Learn it. If a policy violates our rights, you should ignore that policy. If you had any guts. What if you had a policy that says no, no Hispanics allowed in this building? Would you stop me from coming to the building, sir? Yep. Yeah. It sounds like because he has all these ridiculous policies. He's probably surrendering my Fourth Amendment rights. Right? Yeah. 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 And not allowing me to conduct business in my building. This is our building. Go around. You not only fund your salary, people his salary, salary, but this bill, it doesn't run without our money that you take from us. So we don't give it, so why aren't you? This no, you're not. Doing Everything I'm doing is protected by this constitution. You can go to the school. How? I came down here to fill city hall. That's it. Nothing wrong with me. They arrested me. Uh, 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 oh, is divisive a misdemeanor or a felony? That's a good one. That's a great one. They'd all be arrested. Yeah, everyone. Everybody got arrested. You didn't get arrested. I saw the video. Hey, I'll take this card. He assaulted me. I saw the Hey, what's the punishment for treason? Anybody know? He broke the law. Why are you arresting him? He broke the law. You guys she came this look this gentleman let's get him on the line look this gentleman right here said that he took a uh there's 1,300 people watching you. He said that he, he took an oath to our constitution. You fought for our country to protect our rights and to protect our rights. Yes, he took an oath, but yet he thinks I'm being divisive. He thinks that I'm here being divisive when all I'm doing is simply filming in a public building and I was arrested. Being divisive is taking my freedom from me, sir. Taking my freedom from me without breaking any laws. Can I say something now? Sure, sure. Okay. Great. You're just saying anything you want. Okay. Rise up did I did I arrest myself? No. You you got arrested because you're being You don't even know why. You don't even These guys are telling you over here that's what you believe? You didn't do anything wrong in the library. I didn't do anything at the library either. Did I curse? Did I call them pigs? Did I do anything like that? How was I being divisive then? Freedom of speech, right? I could have called them pigs. I could have called them anything I wanted to. You do this because you have Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see, let's see who, you, you have the issues, sir. You have the issues. I'm not gonna give you any more. Uh... <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a good one. What's your, what's, what's your, name, what's your name and badge number? <laughs> what's your, hey, what's your name and badge number? <laughs> how much are they paying you to be here? How much? Tell me how much they're paying you to be here, sir. There's a lot of other people here that fought for their country too, supporting me. No, I understand. Sorry. 
Here. by the town clerk. Me what to do. We can only go, we can film the walls and the hallways, guys. Yeah. That's it. You can't go on, you can go into a department. You can't, you can film, but you cannot go over the counter. Oh, and, and I did that, right? You were all over the counter. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a liar. You're a liar. Sure. Video proving you're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. You're a liar and a tyrant. No, no, no. We're just protesting. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the, uh, how many people are there still? It keeps going out, so people keep leaving. 1,200 of you? You see what's going on here? You see what's going on? See these uh, armed men? Preventing us from entering the building? Because we won't, we won't sign on their paper, and we won't wear a mask. What are they doing? Where's his mask? Look, look. He's special. Where's his mask? Special. He doesn't have a mask. Where's his mask? Sovereign citizen. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the sovereign citizen. The, the law doesn't apply to you. I understand. I am above the law. There's a uh, crazy. There's there's some there's some crazy um there's some crazy. Hey, I go. I came all the way down from Maine. Just all the way from wow. Maine. Thank you, man. Wow. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. What's your What's your first name? Gil. Gil, nice to meet you, Gil. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. They're not letting us in, man. They're not letting us in. They're trying to say that uh, we have to wear a mask and we have to sign and give up our Fourth Amendment right to get in. These guys over here are backing them up with the threat of arrest. So I highly encourage you all to file suit against Amber. I really do. I, 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 I highly encourage you because this is unconstitutional right here. This sign-in sheet is unconstitutional. You forcing us to wear a mask is unconstitutional. Oh, I don't want to step on. Yeah. Pushing them around. So he just let he let water in uh, Erie County inside, and his instructions were. You can go anywhere you want, just don't put your phone over the counter. For me, it was a little bit different. For me, this man right here, Mr. Clean, he told me Mr. that I couldn't even go into the offices. I wasn't even allowed in the office, only the hallways and the walls, that's it. Once I went into the office, he got in my face, started pushing me, started getting aggressive. Where's your aggression now, buddy? So, Tom, I thought you were gonna knock me down with the chair. Change is tough too. They get pushed back. Shoot enough, shoot enough unarmed people, you get a little pushback after a while. Central. Central or southern, I guess. Oh, you guys do it all 
different than yeah. I started doing it before I knew that's what I was doing. I got arrested in the cabinet, arrest me, without a key. All by my lonesome stand up. What are you doing? Walking. Unconstitutional. It's going to be ruled unconstitutional because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, what's your first and last name? Then you can enter the building. Come on. Is that first name? Nothing happened that day. But the next day, when I came back, they immediately took COVID. Well, not immediately. For COVID reasons. I'm seriously. I'm seriously. Curious. They're so now they're delaying Look, it. Show them up. They Everybody's in here with us, guys. They just keep on delaying. Everybody's in here with us. And 1,300 of you. Maine in the house. Maine in the house. All, came all the way from Maine. Came all the way from Maine. Who else is from Maine? You guys should have drove up with him. Car, carpool. He's going to college. Yeah, next month. College for what? What's his name? Cock, cock dog in college. Yeah. So as soon as he's done, they think I'm an agitator, guys, but I'm not. So a conversation is illegal here, yeah. apparently. Look at the tyranny. You guys are seeing 1,300 of you watching right now. Look, you're seeing tyranny. I've seen you just. Wake up, America. Wake up, patriots. Two armed men with guns prevented. Two armed men with guns prevented me from entering in a public town, a public city hall. Two armed men with guns. I drive around with a 12 foot trailer and I have a big sign. Now, when you're looking at Hey, Peter here's from the News yeah, Times. So right? Yeah. Peter from the News Times right here. Peter. I told him it would be a good question for him to ask why is it that they need to provide our names in order to answer. That's a good question for Peter to ask. What do you think? Is he like MSM type news? Do no, I, I guess so. I don't know. Well, then he's not going to ask the question. I, why can't he just ask? He's paid by MSM. What's the purpose for the name? I think it's a good journalist question. I'm not, uh, supposedly, you guys Well, they're the ones that aren't real journalists. <laughs> I don't have my, uh, I left my press credentials in my uh, other pants. Do you know that the news agencies, the main Mainstream media news agencies have zero dollars towards um, actual investigative journalism. Check out budgets. Wow, you guys are doing exactly what I did on uh, July 15th, and you're not going to rush it. That's sick. <laughs> That's sick. Look at him. Look at this guy up here. Look at him. He's doing the same thing I was doing July 15th, and he's not being arrested, guys. How sick is that? Why? Because he has his little hall pass? Screw that hall pass. Well, some of them now are just traveling now. I, I saw a lot of them were traveling together, but I yeah. guess they, they split up because they... You can't enter our building, ladies and gentlemen. Rogue Nation without a mask. was down in Niagara yeah. yesterday. Without a mask. Well, the thing is, if you without, have people traveling together... You can't enter our building without a mask and without surrendering your name. Interesting. Interesting. Look, or else we'll be arrested by these Nazis. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's sun I've never watched the sun. Right. 
You guys are seeing Terry and I. You're seeing a journalist. This is why we're journalists. This is why we're journalists. Because yeah, look, why isn't he asking the right questions? Why is the, the question is, why? Simply, why? Why do we have to give up our Fourth Amendment right? Why do I have to give up my identity to enter a building that my tax money goes to? Sure, they get federal money here. Especially when the name isn't even verified. Yeah, what's, yeah. Just How, fake name. What if I told them my name is George Washington? Like, back, it doesn't mean, it doesn't, this long it doesn't mean it's for COVID. Back up. It's for COVID. It's, it's, it's a method of control, you know, that just, it doesn't make any sense. A logical person, if you think logically, just logically, a logical person, seriously, guys, a logical person would not require to give his name. To be honest, sometimes I think people draw, we talk about it a little bit too much. Casey Cam, guys. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But the police also apply the same token. The police should be able to handle that. Well, what do you want to do with the science? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's the little mindset. Well, no, that's the question. We're going to get out of here soon. Yeah, let's. I like that. What am I supposed to do? I'm an unarmed I'm 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 citizen. Our men. This is this is literally tyranny playing out right in front of you. Look, there's two Nazis stopping us from gaining entry to our building. See if you can get them to say walked, get in the box I, I, car. I walked right in. I told them exactly who I was long before I got there. I'm not really. I mean, the fourth amendment. These are the people that were being loading up the box cars, hurting us off to the FEMA camps. I do all my work. Taking our guns. Those are the people that are going to do it. We got a few auditors inside on the inside uh, taking some uh, video. Different people are. Supposedly, I think we know. Allied Universal. Find that number. Tell his bosses about him. Let's see how he handles this. I'm just gonna ask this simple question. That's all. That's it. Puts a lot of pressure. But it's not. I'm gonna be respectful. It's not. I'm just gonna ask him a simple question because I really want to know the answer to it. That's all. Look at him. He's mad. Tyrant's coming out of him. The, ty the tyrant's coming out of him, guys. Hey, watch him. Watch him. He might do something crazy. He's not all there. This tyrant. Central. Or Southern, really. Four. Four and a half. I think it's a legitimate question, guys. How does our name help us?
COVID scared of our real names or something? I don't understand. It's called smart letters. I don't. They, well, when we when we give when we give Mr. Clean our names, we're no longer being going to be affected by COVID. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you're affected. Just that he's not. Look at him! 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 Go back at the hospital. Go back at the hospital. Go back at the hospital. Oh, I can't look. pick him. Tyrants. Look, Tyrants, buddy, buddy, Tyrants here. Buddy, buddy. You see it. You see it. You see it. Assault me like that again, and I'm not going to be so nice this time. You. I'm going to knock you down like I knocked down the trees, right? That's what you told me. Yeah. This is where there needs to be less personnel. The same man right here. This is the guy. This old man, Mr. Clean. He told me. He told me he was going to knock me down. He knocked me down when he was younger. All you guys watch the live, he said he was going to knock me down like a tree. Like a tree. Hey Phil. Can I speak? There are. There are a lot of officers here. Oh, that's a very good question. That's a very, somebody said uh, they, they give our names for COVID. That's another good question. Somebody asked another good question. Somebody in, the, somebody in the live asked a good question. Our names are right for COVID, but they don't clean these passes, right? So they're handing these passes out to every person who comes in here and, and they're going to the bathroom, they're touching it and they're, Handing it to the next person. And he just walked to the building without a mask. Do you clean these passes, Phil? Hey, hey, Phil, do you, do you clean them? I haven't seen it. I don't see any wet. Hey, Phil, I'll see you in court, buddy. Hold on, let me wait till this. All right, guys, I keep losing it. I'm going to step outside. Hey, Phil, I'll see you in court. I'm going to take that, uh, take your house, everything you got, all right? Hey, tyrants, you too. Learn, learn the law. Learn the law, tyrants. I'm permanently banned from the library, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm permanent. They sent me, they sent me a, uh, there goes the ambulance that came out to support last time. There you go. Yeah, they, they sent me a letter in the mail. They said, you're permanently banned from the library. I said, all right, I mean, that's, that's, more, that's more legal ammunition for me. People think I don't sue. Like, I'm going to. All you guys watching, stay tuned. We're going to be, I'm showing every part of this. It's a lawsuit. How could, how could any right-minded judge find that giving up your Fourth Amendment right? Am I wrong? Or, am I right or am I wrong? Hello? It's pretty wrong. It, it's like, wow. 
yeah, but the but the point is, is one, it serves no purpose because my name doesn't stop you, doesn't stop COVID. My name doesn't stop COVID. Two, what the fuck? Did, hey, did, he didn't clean that pass before he gave it to you, by the way. <laughs> People are using the bathroom. Guess so. I was shocked. I have too many kids against me right now. All right, guys. How long we've we been live? Almost two hours, and there's still a uh, thousand of you in here. Look, look. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. You too. I keep losing this live. I'm about to end it. What's up, man? Hey, Sean. Chris. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, nice. Appreciate it. That's I've cool. Been to come out here for a while. That's cool, man. I appreciate it. That's cool. I'm glad we're still here. Uh, it was a. It was a was, uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it keeps messing up even out here. I don't know why. I'm gonna end it. I, th you know, appreciate you guys. We went up to 1800, I think. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't recording the whole time, but I uh, last I saw, we were at 1800, and right now we're still at 800. You know, I hope you guys do the uh, always make sure. Uh, to fight for your rights, do the right thing. I appreciate all you guys for tuning in here, catching us here, all of us, fellow patriots. Look at us, look at us, look at us. More inside, more walking around. Yeah, Danbury City Hall. As always, guys, stay safe. God, if you don't like what you saw in this in this live, you have a right to redress your government. Go check my go check my last video. There'll be all the contact information. If you don't know how to use, if you don't know how to use uh, Google, go uh, go check my last video, and uh, you'll find all the information. Danbury City Hall here in Connecticut. If you don't like what's happening here, you have a right to redress the government if you feel the need to. So that's your right under the Constitution. So make sure you guys are, uh, you know, supporting the Constitution. I don't need the support. I the Constitution needs the support because you seriously cannot enter in here without Mr. Clean over here won't let you in without uh and he has two armed guards behind him backing him up. So we all need you guys to be, you know, redressing your government if you feel the need to. Order in Erie County, go follow him. He's a good dude right there. Came a long way. A lot of people came a long way. And uh, you know, we're doing the right thing here. A lot of people came a long way. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Clean. He's definitely Mr. Clean. Look at him. We're gonna get, we're gonna get one more look at him. He's hundred percent Mr. Clean. What are you gonna tell me? He doesn't come right off that fucking right off the uh, right off the cleaning supply. Look at him, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. He's getting a lawsuit on him too. Look at him. He's flanked by his two Nazi security, his two Nazi guards. See that? Isn't that crazy, guys? That's crazy what's going on here. If you don't like what's going on, redress your government. Hey, how you doing? Just want to do, uh, I, I watch your videos. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Over. Oh, cool. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, a lot of people came out. Video, oh, down. cool, man. That's Thank awesome. You, Thank you. Thank you. They wouldn't let us in without, they were giving us yeah. BS. You saw the live? Sure. Yeah. Well, we're going to hold them accountable here. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Got a lot of, we have a lot of uh, patriots out here who are helping us with the fight. You know, we have a lot of patriots out here. Look, look at this. Is this insane? This is a long live, man. But um, probably YouTube sabotaging the live stream because it keeps going off. But like I said, if you don't like what happened here, Danbury City Hall, ask, a good question to ask them is, how does a name prevent COVID? Because I don't understand. How does my name, how does not giving my name prevent COVID? And how does handing people passes prevent COVID when you don't even clean them afterwards? Those are good questions to ask them. And, and, and another well, last question you can ask them is, does the Constitution end here? And does it not effective here in Danbury? Does that flag mean nothing? Does the people who died for that flag mean nothing? Do, uh, is that what's going on here? So anyway, I know they're not checking IDs. I could use good citizen. I understand that, you know. But the point is, is that I already accomplished my business here. 
And if I go in there, I'm going to lose the live anyway because there's no service even in the lobby. So we're just going to hang out here for a couple more minutes. I'm going to talk to people. Appreciate all thousand of you watching. You guys are real patriots. I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, contact tracing. What? Uh, listen, somebody just said the reason they're taking the names is for contact tracing. How do you contact trace with only a name? Tell me how do you contact trace with only a name? How is that? How is that contact tracing? How are you going to find me? I don't get it. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. As always, stay safe. God bless. Long Island Audit.